Hi, Besters! This is Nico and we're here for another episode of Pep Live. I'll be your host for today at makakasama namin ang isa sa mga cute nakapuso couples and they're already excited to meet their new baby. Please welcome Max Collins and Pancho Magno! Woo-hoo. Yay! Hi, Shout out! Guys, say hi to our viewers first. Hi, guys! Shout out to all our viewers! Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, guys! Ayan, before anything else, sa mga, vi- sa mga viewers natin dyan, please follow our social media accounts at Tap Alerts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram on TikTok. Also, our Tap.ph Viber community. So today, ang chikahan natin all about ECQ and parenting with Max and Pancho. So, kamusta ba ang ECQ experience yung dalawa? Hmm. Uh, Interesting. Um, bored. Boring. Boring. Right. At the end of the day, at least we're safe. Yeah. So that's what we're thankful about. Kaya but it's because like, it's 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 harder when someone's in the family is pregnant. Syempre. it's more being careful is one thing. Pero with someone's pregnant, with my wife, syempre mas dapat times one hundred. Eh. So we don't li- really go literally. I don't. Siguro this for. Siguro mga in two months nakaka apat pa lang akong labas or five just because we need money for to, to buy food and ano yeah. ganyan so yeah so just and them wearing gloves and shades and mga over on a mask and we've been ordering lahat ng uso ngayon di ba yung ube cheese pandesal ano ba milky o ano ano mo order namin so ayun and placenta shake <laughs> and and meron na din kaming routine like Um, Netflix and chill, and ito naman, he works out in the morning. I work out with my Call of Duty friends. Yeah, and he plays Call of Duty <laughs> all day, so yun, yun yung <laughs> ginagawa namin. So, ano yung, for Max, ikaw, sa alone time mo, ano yung mga activities mo? Uh, I try to do uh, prenatal yoga every so often. Um, ano pa, I try to read. But then you should end up watching TV <laughs> or, or social media, di ba? Nakaka-addict kasi. Um, so, yun, nothing productive um, at all. <laughs> or, minsan naman, I mean, kung gusto kong maging productive, I try to um, do videos like for my Instagram or sa YouTube channel yeah. namin. That's about it. Uh, may project pa kayo na... May projects kayo na na-hold because of the ECQ. Yeah, we were supposed to have a project together. Yeah, um, uh, we have first Yaya, supposedly. Mm-hmm. But because of quarantine, syempre na, no. na-hold siya. And I'm sure, madami rin, madaming na-hold. <laughs> yeah, madaming na-hold. Kasi akala namin ma-hold yung, yung career ko because I'm pregnant, syempre. But then, Na-hold din yung career ng lahat. So, <laughs> lahat. <laughs> Damay lahat. So, Tansho, ready ka na bang uh, bumalik on the set kung sakaling ipatawag na kayo ng GMA for first yaya? Ang uh, excited kasi, syempre, bagong role. Bago sa, uh, compared sa laging drama and may, may, pa kaming, may chance pa kami na magiging magkatrabaho kami. Siyempre, having a baby, mahirap na magkaiwalay kami. Pero since binigyan kami ng, ng gantong privilege to work together na, na pregnant, so mas madali. So parang sabi na, mga oh, exciting, bagong show, magkasama tayo. So sabi ko, kailan matatapos to? Siyempre, gusto ko na mag-work. Kasi nandun na yung norm eh. Nandun na eh. May workshops, may... Hindi lang yun. Dapat na magti-training pa ako eh sa, sa mm. army or yung mga, yung mga, kasi yung role ko parang mga ex na special forces yun eh. So, kailangan ko mag-training kung paano yung, yung positioning basis. So, he, na was, he was looking forward to it din naman kasi comedy and never pa siya nakagawa ng comedy. And funny talaga siya. It's just, it's just lahat ng roles na binibigay sa kanya, puro drama. So he was he was really excited about the project. So sayang na nahold. Kaya lang um, everyone's projects naman na hold. So damay damay lang. <laughs> But yeah. Mm. 
Pero pag bumalik ka ba ng set, meron ka rin ba ang safety precautions na gagawin? Yung iba, bumili na ng sandamakmak na mask. Ikaw ba, may ganun kang gagawin? Um, actually, dapat eh. Ano man? Kasi... Na wala pa tayong vaccine. So, mahirap. Tapos, meron pang... Meron pang baby. So, kailangan talaga. Hindi lang sa work. Kahit sa... I mean... Especially sa work siguro. Hindi ya, uh, no, let's just wait and pray kasi hindi natin talaga alam kung kailan ito matatapos eh. So, yeah. Um, ano yung mga activities naman na nami-miss nyo outside? Let's start with you, Max. Oh, I miss spinning. Spinning. Uh, spinning. I miss just doing workouts outside like yoga or boxing sa gym. Uh, I miss seeing my friends. I miss um, visiting my mom uh, regularly. I miss... Ano pa ba? Just kasi sanay ako. Sanay ako um, na may, lagi may ginagawa. So, I miss working, syempre. And, and it's just like, it's so weird na we can't even eat out. Diba? Parang nakakapanibago talaga. So, ang dami ko naman miss. Sobrang dami. I miss driving, lalo na. It's been a while since the last time I drove. Sobrang traffic na yun. So, yeah. kaya lang yung traffic hindi ko naman miss. Ikaw. Si Pan. Um, going to the gym, playing basketball, um, watching movie sa so movie house, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, eating out. Yun lang. Paano niyo? Yeah. Ano yung mga nilolook forward niyo sa new normal na tinatawag natin ngayon? kung meron ba. Kung paano tayo mag a Kasi interesting, di ba, lagi natin, napap- lagi natin napapanood sa movies kung ano yung magiging future natin. Also, ito na yun. It's like, lahat naka, I mean, I can imagine lahat naka-PPE, you know, kung ano yung, ma- yun yung magiging standard na outfit. Um, and then, everyone's always on their phone. Like, noon pa, everyone's on their phone. Eh, lalo na ngayon, di ba? So it's just like interesting to see kung paano tayo mag adapt at evolve sa new normal. Especially yung buhay na magiging anak namin. Diba? It's gonna be so different for them. Speaking of that, mer- medyo worried ba kayo since dati, di ba, sobrang uh, ano lang natin, sobrang chill lang ng mga bata tayo, ganyan. And sobrang iba na yung mundo na kakakalaki ka ng anak nyo if ever. So, medyo worried ba kayo sa situation na yun? I feel bad for him. Kasi hindi niya maranas natin growing up, di ba? So, so, it's like kung ano yung na-enjoy namin before, hindi niya ma-enjoy ngayon. Um, so, nakakalungkot, syempre. Even yung pag-travel, kasi we're looking forward to traveling with our son, but now it seems like that would take a very long time, di ba? So, Um, we're worried about it, but it's more of, um, not just worried, we're, we're more of sad. Diba? I think, mm-hmm. mas nakakalungkot. Kasi, um, masaya na kami. Mm-hmm. Diba? What are your biggest realizations na lang sa, while under ECQ tayo? Si Pancho. Um, well, if you, yung positive side kasi sobrang kumpitid na mo sobrang linis ngayon ng air ganda ng sky um, less pollution so it's a in a way bagong chapter ng earth na tapos lalabas din yung baby namin so it's a if you think about it maganda ding blessing yun syempre parang the great start in a way but uh, yeah I mean yun lang kung paano tayo kung it's the way uh to correctly adapt with the changes kasi basically it's ngayon kailangan maging ano sa safety mo yung health mo it's more of more on sa family na eh so it's uh, isipin mo rin maganda rin yung yung positive na mas marami kang time to think about kung ano bang mas, mas important now yeah ayan so we're on the next part of our interview and this is a challenge This is a challenge. Meron tayong itatanong na five challenge questions sa inyong dalawa. More like getting to know questions lang naman. So, eto. 
what is your spouse's most irritating habit? Let's start with you, Max. Ah, pag, pag lumabas ako ng kwarto, tapos tatawagan niya ako. That's most, that's the most irritating thing, I think. As in, kakalabas ko lang, hmm. tsaka niya ako tatawagan. Papasak ng kwarto alit. <laughs> Oh, diba? Wala eh, para sa akin. Ako para sa akin, perfect shape. Para sa wow. Safe answer, safe answer. So wala. Sige na. De, wala, wala. Perfect okay, talaga. Wala akong masabing kahit na Fashion konting. Sasabi. Wala, wala, wala. <laughs> As in, wala. Sobrang perfect. Sige, wala, oh, okay. Next question. Ah, sige. Parang kinilig ng konti si Max dun, no? Oh, gusto nila yun. Yun ang gusto nila. <laughs> uh, next question. What word best describes your spouse first thing in the morning? First thing in the morning. Instagram. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Perfect. Siya, perfect. Siya. Ano ba? Sagutin mo na. Yun nga. Instagram. Siya. Instagram. Ako. Bakit Instagram? Yun mas sinacheck niya ng Instagram niya, tapos ube pandesal niya. <laughs> <laughs> Habang nag instagram uh, Si Panto naman, Call of Duty, ang favorite game. And if he's, not, he's so. not playing, okay, so if he's not playing Call of Duty, Working he's watching that. videos on his phone of Call of Duty. Oh, oh. No, first thing in the morning. Ah, first thing in the morning. Hindi ka sa phone mo, then manonood ka ng Call of Duty na videos. Hindi eh, ganun din. YouTube nga lang. <laughs> Pero siya, perfect siya. Okay na. Okay na. Hindi na realistic. Hindi <laughs> 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 na siya naliwala. <laughs> okay, next question. Who is the better driver? Pancho. Yeah. He doesn't like my driving. Pero magaling siya mag-drive. Kailangan mo lang dalhin sa auto shop after, pero magaling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who is better in the kitchen? Siya. I think siya kasi, hindi, okay ako magluto, pero mas patient siya. Oo, oh, hindi. Oh, may, uh, may, meron, meron kaming like, kanya-kanyang yeah, specialty eh. It depends. Mm-hmm. Like, the easy to make stuff, ako yun. Ah, hindi rin, rin. rin. It's a different source. Siguro siya Parang more on, pantay, more pantay on eh. like, <laughs> more on mga... You're both learning the way. Oh, ako more on, ano, parang more on mga kumul. Magkaiba lang kami na. Kasi meron siyang ginagawa na gustong gusto ko. Like brownies, sandwiches, coffee, or mga... Hey. Yes. Hey, guys, like mga kailangan namin ng food in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah. It's Kayang kaya. Oh, sige. Last question. What word best describes your spouse naman at night? Call of duty. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram. Pa din, yun pa din. Insta- oh, so Morning uh, till night. Sakit na, feel it. We have to, we have to, to give, give up. Yeah. Give up your call of duty, I'll give up my Instagram. Oh, that's so impossible. So Thank now, Whoa. okay. Ayan. So now we'll talk about your pregnancy, but before we move on to that topic first, syempre yung mga viewers natin, follow niyo yung social media accounts namin, Pep Alerts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and pep.ph on Viber Community. So, yeah. Ito naman ang question natin about your pregnancy. Kamusta ang pagbubuntis under ECQ, Max? So far, it's been good because um, maraming tumulong sa akin. Like, like um, I didn't, I wasn't comfortable going sa hospital para sa mga check-up ko. So, um, Diane Medina referred an OB for me that can come to the house and take my glucose test. So I'm really thankful for that. And then, um, uh, ano pa, na, I nagbago yung decision ko about giving birth sa hospital because of ECQ. Diba? So now I'm giving birth at home. Um, and, ano pa, like, so far everything's been good though. 
the pregnancy hasn't been a difficult one. It's been easy. And baby's baby's been good. So I'm just thankful that na I didn't really have a hard time. Sa ibang moms, syempre pag first time pregnant, uh, medyo challenging yung first three months. Ano yung mga challenges na na-experience mo that time? Pagsusuka. So I would always, I would puke all day. Diba yung morning sickness? That that was like all day. Not just in the morning. Um, and then, ma- naging mapili ako sa food um, during that time. Na if it's masyadong malasa, masyadong creamy, or too much sauce, hindi ko kaya. As in, Ayoko yung amoy, ayoko siyang, ayoko yung lasa. Um, ano pa? Parang I would just eat food na bland or maasim. And then, I I love coffee so much, but I couldn't keep it down. Because I used to drink black coffee. Um, but then, yeah, I couldn't keep it down. I would throw up. And drink wine, I would throw up also. Because I didn't know I was pregnant. So I would I would puke all the time. Akala ko yung dahil sa acid reflux ko. But yun pala, because mm-hmm. I was a- ano yung pinagbibihian mo? Meron ka ba? Feeling ko si Pan siya makakasagot nito eh. Kasi siya yung kumukuha na request mo pala. Eh. Um, well, happy ako na go- naging okay yung appetite niya actually. Na hindi siya nagsusuka at least lahat ng nutrients. So sobrang ngayon, sobrang healthy niya kumain eh. Hindi nga, nakagulat nga, hindi kami masyado nagja-junk food lately. It's more <laughs> of sinigang, tinola, malunggay, which is kailangan din talaga niya. And nagiging Kaya try namin na uh, iwasan din kumain ng sweets, ganyan. So, but, naging mas healthy kami eh. Uh, kaya sobrang happy kami with the pregnancy kasi hindi kami naghahanap ng iba kasi maghahagusan ng sweets, chocolates, gusto ng like pizza or ano. Tinatry pa rin namin to eat na yung healthy, yeah, healthy na, na too much carbs, more on veggies, soup, and don't eat pork and chicken, we don't eat pork talaga. Yun lang puti nga, ano kami doon, hindi kami nagpo-pork. But yung, yung paglilihi, wala, wala, nothing in particular? Na, naglilihi? Hindi, siguro naglihi siya sa, which is mahilig na siya dati pa, pero mas mahilig ka ngayon sa fruits, siguro. Fruits. Fruits. Pero hindi ba naging, ma- hindi naman nahirap, maging, naging mahirap yung shift since, uh, kayo uh, bilang uh, okay yun din yung diet nyo, bilang fitness people kayo, hindi naman masyadong malaki yung adjustments when it comes to diet. Um, yeah, hindi masyado. It, like, the only difference now is that um, I eat rice. So, mm. yeah. Tsaka dati, honestly, we, like, syempre from work, sobrang pagod, dahil kami nagwa-wine. Yeah. Many... Natatakot siya na baka ma-miss niya like like a glass of wine while having steak ganyan. Ngayon, hindi niya amoy, hindi niya kaya yung amoy ng wine. So naging naging in a way naging Nakatulog. Ako nag-lessen din yung pag-drink ko ng alcohol kasi we 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 eat more than we drink or yeah, less mas food eh. Mas food talaga. Healthy food ah, as in masabaw, soup, may mga you soupy and Diba? Veggies. And now you're only two months away from... Actually, I'm, eight, I'm eight months now. So, next month na. Next month na. One, one month na lang. One and month. you mentioned before na you you got a doula for home birthing. Yes. I mean, I you... yesterday. Yeah, actually. Anyway, yeah. okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Ayan. For our viewers, ano ba ang doula muna? Well, the, I, you know, actually, I don't know the specific... Um, uh, the specific term, but anyway, a doula is really there to support um, the mother. It's like it's like and a yoga instructor, but it's on having a baby. But she's there for support. It will teach you, yeah, support, support and your like breathing, help you with the positioning. with the positioning, yeah, it will help you go through the stress, deal with every like deal with the, psychological support. The pain. Oh. So and wait, I want to find the yeah, the what's the. No, pero in, in a, in a... Like, More or less, yun siya. Oo, oh, ganun siya. Like, tulungan ka niya. The definition, na, kumbaga. Para at least alam din ng, you know, ng viewers natin. So, a woman typically without formal obstetric training who is employed to provide guidance yeah. and support to a pregnant woman during labor. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Sorry. 
So you mentioned meeting her yesterday. Kamusta yung uh, meeting nyo? Oh, we were so happy. We were so like, um, sobrang, how do you say this? Sobrang comfortable kami. Sobrang at ease at, kami yeah. sa naging result kasi po sinabi nila na maganda yung environment nyo, maganda yung village nyo, maganda yung community. So, madali tayo maka-access if you need anything and then complete kayo sa house. Yung house nyo, may spaces na may kailangan ganito, madali lang. So, it made us feel really comfortable. Yeah, especially now process. na may, yeah, na may, may virus and yeah. ano, sabi, hindi, magagawa natin to, ayusin namin. And yeah, I mean, just very positive so much positivity exactly. and mm. and um yeah parang we just it, it makes us more excited about it because diba parang nakakakaba when you think about going to hospital and just especially lalo na ngayon with what's going on but then knowing that we're at home and we can call them anytime um and and malapit lang sila sa amin it just makes us so much more comfortable and um all of the birthing experiences na kinwento nila sa amin were all positive, were all successful. So mm. I think it's really a mindset. Like if you decide to do home birth and your mind is really set on it, then, um, and you have like a good support system, then kakayanin mo talaga. I mean, magagawa mo in, in a good way, in a pleasant way. Handa na ba yung pool nyo? Yeah, handa na. Yeah, so it's, it's a, a little big. Um, well, perfect for the two of us to fit in the pool. Inside. Si baby. So, yeah, it's nice. Just post it on our Instagram. Nandun yung meron kaming dalawang. May picture kami na nasa pool kami. Yeah. At magagamit din namin after. After. Uh, yeah, after. Hanap. Yeah. And before, no, actually, magagamit din namin with the baby. With yeah. our baby. So. Oo nga. Do you guys parang go through pa, uh, workshops or parang uh, for home birthing classes. classes. So we took um, a gentle birthing class with my my doula. Um, we did that for a month um, online, and then uh, we're on May 30. We're gonna start another class as well for lamas naman for a month. Um, breathing techniques as well and positioning and things like that. So um, we're just trying to educate ourselves as much as possible para hindi kami kabahan pagdating ng um, delivery date. For Pancho, since may medical background siya as a nurse, ano yung natutunan mo from the experience from the classes with your uh, sa regarding home birthing? Honestly, hindi na, hindi yung, in terms of nursing, ha, hindi siya ganun natakil eh. Kasi mas naging home birthing kasi wala masyadong na, natural talaga eh. as organic as possible eh. no no medications no anesthesia no like it's more on kung paano namin i-handle yung baby yung lalagay namin eh, kung ano yung mga medicines doon ako medyo familiar like vitamin K yung mga like kailangan merong yung time na yung mga dilation yung mga position ng baby quadrants ganyan so Pero it's basically talagang nasa mom eh. Yung ang pinaka-importante na, na tinakil namin yung quality time ng mom, yung breastfeeding talaga. Yun talaga. Sobrang important nun. Walang, med, walang medications yun. So, kung ano, yung, kung ano yung mga vitamins ni mom, ng mom, ipapasa niya sa anak niya. So, dapat sa lahat ng moms na nanonood dyan, future moms, sobrang important ng breastfeeding. It's Sobrang reso. And your placenta. <laughs> and your placenta. <laughs> Pero breastfeeding talaga. Right. Lahat ng vaccines mo, yes, antibodies yes. mo from the mother, matatransport sa, matatransport sa, sa baby. And you do it by milk pa, di ba? Lalo na kapag si mom drop mag-produce. Wala ko sa tao kasi sa breastfeeding. Yun, yun yung talaga. Oh. Like, mag-rely tayo sa breastfeeding. May ibang moms na medyo may problem sila with breastfeeding na hindi sila nakaka-produce ng enough milk. Uh, ikaw ba, Max, uh, nire-ready mo na ba yung parang sarili mo if ever? Huwag naman saan mangyari. Na ganun yung maging situation. Sabaw. 
para sa gatas, um, para magkaroon ako ng gatas. And I, I, I'm prepared naman in case I do have a hard time. But I talked to my midwife about it. And sabi niya, you know what, um, even if you have a hard time, if you really don't give up, makakaproduce ka talaga. It's just like you have to be very um, patient. Kumbaga, sarili. So uh, that's kind of what I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, instill in myself is na kahit mahirapan ako, um, kahit mahirapan man ako, I- I'll still try my best and just keep trying, keep trying until it works out. Because I don't want to give my baby, um, as much as possible, as much as possible, I don't want to give my baby formula so early on. But you know, I, I'm not that I'm against it. Kasi ako naman, I grew up on formula. My mom didn't breastfeed me. And so, it's just that that's a personal um, yeah. choice. Uh, since nabanggit na yung uh, placenta drink, ayan, medyo trending yung uh, interview natin ng nakaraan ng ito. <laughs> Lasa daw bang yuti talaga? I, I talked I talk to um, our doula yesterday about it. And so, she said, sa placenta smoothie naman, it's just a really tiny piece. And then, um, you can store your, the other pieces of the placenta sa freezer in case you want to make more shakes. But sabi ko baka one shake lang ako. Yun, yun na yun. And then the rest encapsulate na. Pero maganda siya na. Dry and encapsulated. But she said it's scientific naman na. Oh, scientific. Um, scientific that that bumabalik talaga yung nutrients um, sa mommy when you drink the placenta. Because mammals do it. It's only um, it's only like water. May, it's only like may, may dolphins na hindi yeah. gumagawa nun, or whales, di ba? But, but other, it, other animals they do it. So it's like, it makes sense naman. Yeah, no, pero may sinabi rin siya, sabi ng dula namin na presenta kasi it's like a vacuum eh. Like, lahat ng hormones mo, nutrients mo, nandun, then tinanggal mo siya lahat. Parang binacuum mo lahat. So the only way to balik sa, sa body mo is to drink it. Parang vitamins, parang supplements. So yun yung, yun yung magiging approach. Kasi kung ano yung mga nakalagay sa mga vitamins na iniinom natin, like, especially yung Ang daming iron nun eh, di ba? Sobrang pack ng iron yung plasente eh. Di ba? Blood, blood vessels, blood, mga veins, ganyan. Kung ano yung iniinom natin, ganun lang siya. Yun yung approach dapat. Which is, pwede mong gawin sa shake mo. Pwede mong halo. Pero pwede rin siya ilagay sa capsule. But yun nga, it's a... Uh, kala ko more on psychological, pero iba rin talaga yung physical, ano yun, dahil grabbing hormones. And all the mothers that I've talked to, um, who who drank their placenta have have not had postpartum so nakakatulong talaga siya sa postpartum mm. because bumabalik yung nutrients that's why i chose to do it uh speaking of postpartum naman uh how important is it to have a support system during that phase para maiwasan yung ganong situation According to my friends that have given birth na, it's so important kasi once na mag-depress ka and then you're sleep-deprived uh, um, and you're stressed out, it's it's so easy to, to fall in that in fall into depression. So you really have to make sure na, na may mga tumutulong sa'yo, that you can talk to people and, and um, you know, it's it, it helps to have a, a partner na supportive um, because... At the end of the day, you want to be your best self for your baby and for your family. So, you know, how can you take care of your baby when you're depressed? Medyo mahirap yon. So it's not just the baby that we're taking care of. We should also take care of ourselves. Kasi kung hindi ka may okay as mothers, how will we be able to take care of others? Si Pancho, how do you think you will help your wife sa ganang situation? Or oh, as in, dapat... Kung possible nga na dapat ako yung mas malakas eh. Alam mo yun. Kasi hindi natin alam yung mga like, not only her, pero lahat ng moms na yung pagdadaanan na struggle. Like, parang may kinuwang lahat ng hormones mo tinanggal sa'yo eh. Yung estrogen mo, yung kung ano yung nag... So yung talaga magiging, magiging anxious ka, magiging malungkot ka. Mixed emotions eh. Dahil lahat na, 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 napunta sa baby. So it's a... Uh, Yung dad talaga sa parent, kailangan maging ikaw yung binaka-backbone na kung paano mo bibigyan ng 
like babalik lahat ng love, lahat ng pag-aalaga sa mom. And not only sa mom, and so and of course sa baby kasi magre-reflect 'yun sa sa baby niyo. So I know lahat talaga. I mean, it's a uh, it's a uh, hindi lang hindi siya obligation eh para sa it's mandatory eh. as a parent, as a husband, as a father na nandun kay nandun ka dapat. Yeah. So nakapili na ba kayo ng name for your baby? Hint na yeah. lang ko ano yung ano story behind the name of your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hindi so, pa namin pwede ano yun eh kasi hindi pa final but it's uh, the 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 force is strong. Joke <laughs> <laughs> na. Medyo giveaway. <laughs> Medyo giveaway. We're not sure yet though. We're not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> hindi pa final, hindi pa final. Hindi pa final. So, anong na reaction mo nung sinuggest ni Pancho yun? Oh my gosh. Ako pa yung nagsuggest na yun. <laughs> Kapatid niya actually. Kapatid ko yung nagsuggest na. And then, nagustuhan namin. And then, parang when I did my research, I I changed my mind. And so, yeah, nagbago yung isip ko. Iba na yung gusto kong pangalan. Tapos, andun pa din siya sa name na yun. So, sabi namin, either pagsamahin namin, or we pick one. So, yeah, we'll see who wins. So, within a few weeks time, uh, you're giving uh, birth. Ready na ba yung mga uh, kailangan yung gamit for the baby, the cribs, the yeah, includes? Yeah, like yesterday. The day before yesterday. Yeah, everything we, parang we had it like, Two days ago, I think, lahat ng sobrang happy kami dahil sabi mo sa kanya, pwede ka ng mga anak today. Tsaka, ay, kasi hindi ako nakapag baby shower because of the situation. So, it's so nice na um, we still got a lot of gifts. So, ay, yeah, halos ready na kami. The only thing we don't have is like pampers, siguro. Mga diaper. Yeah. Napad- yeah. Yeah, yeah, mga diapers. We can do it. We can buy it naman. And, like, yeah, but that's about it. Halos kumpleto na kami sa gamit. Uh, siguro, ano yung first thing na gagawin nyo after you give birth to your baby? Uminom. Let's start with you. <laughs> first thing na gagawin namin, ah, um, sobrang excited kami. I just want to spend time with them. Actually, I just want to spend time with them. As much as possible na bag, bago pumalik na yung work working hours and ano so just pass yeah because my doula said na na usually like after gutom na gutom yung mother like after giving birth so usually may special request sila ng food ng gusto nilang food so i was thinking what would i really want after giving birth after breastfeeding right so magkape it's just something simple but then Talking about it, um, like after, I'm looking forward to working out. For my last question, uh, do, you have, do you guys have anything to promote? Uh, siguro your uh, social media accounts, your channel, ano ba nga abang sa YouTube channel nyo? Guys, please follow um, us on Instagram if you're not already. Um, at Magna Pancho. Magna Pancho. At Max Collins Official. Um, our Facebook pages. And then, ano ba? Casa Magno sa YouTube. That's our mm. uh, YouTube channel. So please um, follow us there because we're planning on um, we're planning, we're planning on, on showing you our baby's room yeah. and uh, my my giving birth. So abangan yun na lang yung mga videos na yun. Thank you so much, Max and Patty, for joining. Thank, Thank you, Nico and Hepsters. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Yeah. Bago tayo magtapos, Pepsters, uh, wag mo pong kalimutan ng aming social media accounts. Please do follow us on at Pepsters on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Also follow us on our Viber community chats at Pepsters. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.